Hi everyone, it's just gonna be me today. I am going to hike up to the top of Watson's Peak in Saguaro National Park West. So I'm gonna bring my camera along with me. First off, I just kinda wanna talk about like what I'm wearing. Um, it's about 50 degrees here today, sunnier than I was expecting. So I might take this down jacket off, but essentially what I decided to wear since it is a little bit chillier, I'm wearing a thin pair of leggings under my pants. And then I'm wearing these nice stretchy um, hiking pants. Obviously the wool socks always go to no matter what the weather is. Long sleeve under here, perfect sweatshirt, and then my down jacket. This is everything that I'm gonna bring with me on my hike today. I got my day pack. It's a Duders brand, which is actually really amazing. Has nice um, hip straps. But then I'm also gonna bring some rain gear just in case it rains. There was uh, rain on the forecast, so this is just in case. Um, I'm hoping that I won't have to pull it out, but um, I do have my down jacket on right now, but this has a hood and it's a little bit more water resistant, so I will pull this out if I need to. Wallet, obviously a headlamp if it gets dark. I don't think I'll be out there that late. It is about like a four hour hike, it's about 11 a.m. right now. Chapstick. Um, gloves if I get cold. I am going to bring my hat of baby wipes and um, baby powder in case any chafing happens or any kind of, you know, blistering or anything like that. And then I have my water reservoir. So I am going to bring three liters today. You are supposed to bring about half a liter for every mile you're about to hike. Um, so that would be about two liters for me today since it's about a four hour hike. So I have more than enough. My trail map and my lunch. I just... Um, made a veggie sandwich with some hummus, got some protein balls, fruit, and then some like, mixed nuts and dried bananas and stuff like that. I have just arrived at the trailhead. It actually turned out to be a beautiful day. Um, a little bit of clouds in the sky, but it looks, it does not look like it's gonna rain. Okay, here is the trail. So this is the trail that I'm gonna take. I'll go all the way up to Wasson's Peak. I'll kind of decide if I wanna do the Hugh Norris route. It'll add like another two miles onto my route, but um, if I want, I can always do this. I might do the full loop. So we will see how it goes. It is Currently 12.15 and I have just begun my hike. I have about three and a half miles until I reach the top. But I am super excited about this hike because I've been wanting to do Wasson's Peak ever since I heard about it. And it's only like a 20 minute drive from our house. So here we go. Recording has been a little bit of a challenge because I left my GoPro and the National Park Pass in Dylan's car. <laughs> so the odds were not in my favor today, but I'm still here. It's a beautiful day. And I might seem a little crazy for doing this on my own, <laughs> but I figured it's one of my few days off. I want to embrace the day. Also, I already took off my sweatshirt. It's hotter than I thought it would be, but I'm so glad that I prepared and packed layers. I'm actually extremely surprised by this weather. It's December 17th and I'm sweating, as you can tell. The sun really makes a difference in the desert. I might even take off my base layer leggings that I have on underneath these because your girl is dying. <laughs> off my base layer leggings and I am feeling so much better. There are picnic tables to um, eat up at probably about halfway at the top so that's cool. Okay I just wanted to stop and say that um, I love living in Tucson. It is December and the temperature out feels like uh, early June day in Minnesota. This is insane. Another thing 
I love about Tucson is if I want to scale a mountain, <laughs> I just have to pack my bag, drive 20 minutes, and get a view like this. This is really exciting to me because I haven't seen these sides of the mountains before. Most of our hiking has actually been in Tucson Mountain Park. You have to get to Saguaro National Park by driving Tucson Mountain Park. So I just had to drive a little farther. I'm super bummed that I don't have my GoPro because the scope of the mountains behind me is just unbelievable. We are one out of four hours in. I had to stop to take a break because my water thing was um, kinked, but it's working out. <laughs> so we are all good. It's getting pretty steep. This trail has about a 1900 elevation gain. Um, I'm almost to the top. I was like a little bit over halfway there. I'm definitely slowing down. All right, I have about a mile and a half to go <laughs> and I'm dying. The only way that I can truly keep going, I'm constantly using this. <laughs> I can't believe this is in my backyard and now I just got poked by a cactus. This is just Insane! You can see Cap Mountain right there. That right there, my friends, is Wasson's Peak. <laughs> and I am heading there now. So I'm excited I can see it. All right, this is where it starts to get a little scary. I am very close to the edge, <laughs> but we are going to keep going. I can see that Mount Lemon has snow. Woohoo! I made it to the top! And this just goes as a reminder to say to always make sure to pack out what you bring in. So I made it to the top at 207 so a little under two hours i decided that i am going to take the longer way back um, i'm feeling rejuvenated meditated up here ate some lunch and i'm ready to keep going this is the trail that i just took i will be um, going that way over on that side going back um, but i came from all the way you see all those switchbacks now that I'm not sweating, I actually kind of like um, warmed up a bit and I might put my sweatshirt back on.
Okay guys, this is the beginning of the Hugh Norris Trail. You know, you think that it can't get any prettier and it just does. Downhill always goes so much easier and faster for me. And this is a lot sandier of a path. Um, so we're cruising now. It is colder though. So I guess there's like this cave, can't really see it, um, that's blocked off on the trail back. Okay, so I'm on my last little stretch here. And would you look at that, I am back at the parking lot, almost. There's the car. I didn't get a lot of footage coming down because I just wanted to use it as time to reflect. Being outside is kind of like my therapy, so I just wanted to make sure that I was still prioritizing that. I ended the trail wearing just this long sleeve and my um, down jacket, and yeah, it was perfect. I feel like a completely different person since I started the trail. It feels like so long ago. It's also currently 4.30, so I pretty much made the four hour and 15 mark on the dot, which is actually kind of crazy, with all the stops and everything included. It's officially time for me to go home and shower and eat dinner, so I'm gonna go do that. It's starting to sprinkle, can you see that? Okay, I am back at my apartment now. Sorry, there's laundry going in the back. But um, I just kind of wanted to go over what I used, what I didn't use, whatever. So I didn't end up eating these things, but that's okay. It's always better to have more. I didn't use my hat, thankfully, but I'm glad that I brought it just in case it did get chilly. Thank God I didn't have to use my rain stuff, but it did start to sprinkle a few times. Not enough for me to have to change out of the down jacket. I have about... 1.5 liters left of this, but I also drink um, uptime. I decided that I'm probably gonna put on a stretching video because otherwise I'm gonna be dying tomorrow. And I don't know about you, but eight miles is a lot for me personally. So yeah, I'm gonna stretch.